Hi, this was uh, finger picking, um, and uh, I will show you how I play this. Uh, in finger picking, it's important to play the bass notes with the thumb. In this case, you're pending between two bass notes. Uh, on the first chord, the C, it's pending between fifth and fourth. Like this, okay. Um, then you put in uh, the chord tones, and in this song, it's two rolls uh, that been played uh, every second bar. Uh, the first roll is like this. That's the roll. starts on the fifth string with the bass and then it's the fourth and the second string uh, at the same time uh, you play the bass with the thumb on the fourth string and you can play with any finger here I play with the middle finger and then back to the bass on the fifth string then it's uh, the third string I play with the index finger and to the bass on the fourth string. So like this. And you, as you see, the bass is pending all, all the time. You put in the chord tones. The second roll is like this. And then you play uh, the fifth in the bass and the second string I play with the middle finger at the same time. Then you jump to the fourth string with the bass and to the third string as chord tone and to the fifth uh, string uh, with the bass again with the thumb and to the second string and the fourth with the bass okay so that's the two rolls and you put those when you put those two rolls together it will be like this Okay Then you go to the G chord and when you play finger picking it's uh, uh, you don't need to play the whole chord like this G or like this or something you play you, you pick those tones that you've been playing on um, so you, you you can be free with the other fingers to play melodies and so on in the future uh, yes so uh, the second chord is G and you put the ring finger on the sixth string third fret and the little finger on the second string, third fret. And you jump between sixth and fourth string in the bass. So it will be like this. Then it's back to the C and to the G again. 
I played the, the, uh, those bars. Okay, and then uh, it will be E, the E chord. Here you're pending uh, with the 6th and the 4th string in the bass and it's uh, the 2nd and the 3rd string as chord note strings. Okay, so it will sound like this. That's on the E chord. Then it's A minor. Uh, then you you pending with fifth and and the fourth string here, and that's the tonic and that's the perfect fifth in the bass. And then it's D seven. Then you jump down the whole kit. Uh, so you jump down uh, and play fourth and third string with the bass. And on first and second string uh, as chord tones. And then you go up uh, to the G and you can play like this. Uh, it's the 6th string in the bass and the 4th. It starts like that. So it's 4th there and the 1st string uh, uh, as top tone. Uh, and you go uh, from the first string to the second uh, as top tone uh, uh, in the second roll. Like that. So these two bars sounds like this. And then it's from the beginning again. One thing you should think about is that you uh, can mute the bass tones, but not the chord tones. So, so you, you put the palm here uh, with the bridge, uh, but not on the chord tones, just on the bass tones. And it will sound... muted but not but not the chord tones in the beginning it can be uh, hard to find where to put the palm here but you find it in time so that's finger picking. Um, good luck with that.